Welcome back, everyone. Yeah. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Gerald. Hi, I'm Simone. And we're struggling here. But the show must go on. <coughs> it's the sad part about being an adult. You ain't getting no sick days. And it's always something to do around here. So we just gonna have to tough it out. But not before we hook ourselves up. So let's do that and see if we can fight this bug off. There you go, woman. Would you like to come with me to the store? <laughs> she said no, if you couldn't hear. I guess I'm on my own for this trip. Guess I'll put on my Purdue hat since they're acting like they want to do something in a tournament this year. Back in a second, woman. Oh, well, hello there, Marble. We're sickly. Yeah. She ain't like that. <laughs> at the store because every time we get sick I always make us some juice and I mean every time so let's grab these ingredients real quick why did I park on the exact opposite side of the store that I needed to go I don't know I wish they would have had one of them little bougie carts Y'all know what I'm talking about, them real little ones that got the top and the bottom. <laughs> you need a bougie cart for the bougie carrots. You gotta grab the bougie beets too. A few of these. And some of these. A little bit of this and we all set. I like a couple of these. Smooth little $18 though. I'll catch y'all back at the crib. I almost forgot. This looks like a good one. Guess who wanted that? I give you a hint. It wasn't me. Once again, I'll see you back at the house. I'm back with reinforcements. I still got this thing of those. Oh, I made a sweatshirt. I sold uh, I also like killed a sweatshirt I found at the thrift store with a Thomas. How much? Oh, a thousand. Wow. <laughs> All right. You said you were the big one. Who is Thomas Kincaid? He just, well, I, from what I know, he makes these scenic blankets. Uh, sometimes they have scripture on them, too. But they're just, just like beautiful, picturesque landscapes. Well, there you have it. If you want puzzles, Thomas Kincaid. That's beautiful. This yeah. looks hard. Yeah, it really stood out to me. It looks fun. It looks nice. I want a game table right there somewhere. I've been watching a lot of home tours, and they have, like, these game tables set up in their living rooms. So I'm like, we need that so that we can just keep our puzzle on it and, you know, just go over there and work on it when we want to. But for now, it's going to go in the dining room or whatever you want to call that room over there. So it's going to be set up in there. 
I mean, we could do it in here, but. Well, we could just bring in that other table. That little four foot, and then just. Oh. Mm, that's boring. Yeah. yeah. They be fighting all day, every day. I'm tired of these geese. And they run away in Harry. They act like this is their territory. This is Harry's territory. This is not theirs. <laughs> but they, they come here. So Harry comes. Obviously, Harry is. He's our pet. He lives here. But then they try to run Harry away every incoming spring. They come here. The geese come here to lay their bait to... I can't even. The geese come here to have their babies. So usually... I'm acting like this. I know this has been happening year over year. We've only seen this once. But... Once is enough. I think that's the cycle that we're seeing. And then they leave. Harry comes back. Harry and his wife... I don't think they have kids. <laughs> Wait, what's her name? Henrietta. Harry got a wife. What's her name? Henrietta? Harrietta. Harrietta, excuse me. But yes. she be around here too. She, yeah, they be flying together. We really don't know them apart, but it's usually Harry. And then in the spring, <laughs> in the late spring, summer is when the turkey come back. The most turkey I've ever seen out here in a single day. And it was just me here. I was working. I look out. Just a couple different stories. But I look out, there was a family reunion of turkeys. Literally 12 turkeys. I think I have a picture. I was oh, about to go on a Zoom call, but I was trying to sneak take a picture. But yeah, there was like 12 turkeys out here. So then another time, the turkey and the deer was playing. <laughs> so once again, I'm working. It's during the day, whatever. And I look out, and the deer is chasing the turkey or the turkey is chasing the deer one of them but they was having a grand old time so it's always just fun I, that's why i love being here you really am immersed in the nature of it all like you can look out at any moment and just see a fight playing babies anything nothing is off limits so it's fun oh and Turtle season is almost back upon us as well. So, you know, every once in a while we'll see a random turtle on the sidewalk right here. Like, where are you going? But Simone love these animals if you can't tell. <laughs> she love looking, <laughs> looking at these animals. Well, the first animal we saw, do you remember the first animal we saw when we got here? No. It was a turtle. Oh, yeah, because it was running. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I just, that was like my sign. Like, oh, yeah. Y'all got turtles? I used to own turtles, so. That's all I gotta say. I'm done. Maybe Back. we can get healthy now. Yeah. Listen. See, this juice recipe here, I came up with it like four years ago. And I was feeling pretty close to exactly how I'm feeling right now. It was like a little bit worse. This was very, very early on in my juicing stage career. So I was like, hmm, why not put my business model, right, my theory to the test? For those of you that don't know, my wife and I run a juice business and our goal is to have everything that we put into our juices come from things that we've grown ourselves. So I went over to my in-law's house. I had put a garden in over there. I went over there and I picked some fresh carrots. I picked a fresh beet or two. I picked some cayenne that I had been growing. And then I went to the store and I bought some apples and some ginger. I also bought a lemon too. And this has always been my rationalization for being healthy. If God formed me from the dirt, that means the dirt probably has the stuff in it. <laughs> that we need to be healthy and to function. So it only makes sense to eat things that are getting their nutrients directly from the dirt. Whatever's doing that, I should probably be eating that. It probably has a bunch of the stuff in it that I need. Well, that was my rationalization anyway. <laughs> a long story short, 
I made that juice with some homegrown beets, some homegrown carrots, some homegrown cayenne, as much stuff as I could possibly get from my own dirt. Made the juice with it. I took like one little shot right before I went to bed and I was feeling terrible at this point. I took one little shot like right before I went to bed and then I woke up probably like at midnight, one o'clock-ish and I took another one and I went to sleep. And while I was asleep, I could feel the sickness like melting off of me. It was crazy. I could feel it like while I was asleep. And I woke up that morning, great. I, I mean, I was like, this nuts. Like, this is crazy. So that got me geeked because it put my, all my thoughts and everything. It really proved my business model to me. And not only my business model, but the fact that God really gave us all the stuff that we need to be healthy. Right, right there. Like, it's right here. Here go this raggedy cat again. Look at it. Get out of here. Get. Ooh, I can't stand that cat. Anyway, show you how I make it. Take my carrots. And I always cut the tops off. The portions are up to you. If you want it to be more carroty, obviously do more carrots. If you want it to be more beady, add more beet to it. Apple eat, so on and so forth. Carrot already has like a decent amount of sweetness to it. So you really don't need to like add too much apple to it or like a sweet apple. That's why I got these green Granny Smith ones. That carrot is sweet enough on its own. Obviously, if you want it sweeter for whatever reason, just add more red apple than you do Granny Smith. Now, when you're using ginger, I recommend that you start at a baseline of like an ounce and a half, yeah, about an ounce and a half to two ounces for every pound of produce that you're going to use. And then like one lemon for every like four pounds. Unfortunately, I don't have any cayenne, so that'll be missing, but we should still be fine. I don't know if you heard Simone, but she said, what if we steep the cayenne? I have some that we grew last year, but we dried it. So maybe, maybe we'll do that. You know, the juicer that we use is a really nice juicer, really quality juicer. It's a cold press juicer. It's a good nature M1. Very, very, very quality juicer. But for that quality, you're going to pay. <laughs> if you're just getting into juicing or thinking about getting into it, you should probably start with like a slow masticating juicer or something. Those are a lot more affordable and they do the job. They, they do well. That's what I started out with. Now, if you're more of a diehard juicer, this is the one right here. Bring you in close so you can see how it works. This thing is great because you can throw whole apples and stuff in there. You don't gotta waste your time cutting and quartering them up like a mug. Drop this thing down like this. So let's seed it. Hit grind. This is the plunger to push it in there. Lift it back up. Same thing over again. see turns into mash like that and then these two plates right here this squeezes with like a couple tons of force I like to do a little pre-press before I actually press it drop the lid hit the press and a little under four pounds of produce gave me a little more than four cups of juice. So if you're wondering why cold pressed juice is so expensive, that's why. If we actually calculated the labor it takes to make it, the prices would get unreasonable. <laughs> and sometimes I wanna do it because our goal isn't for y'all or for people to always buy from us. We wanna inspire y'all to start growing your own stuff, juicing your own stuff, eating from your own gardens and stuff. 
we're more so here to help people along on their journey. All of the pulp and extra cuttings and whatnot, I always compost them. I throw them in my big compost pile. We're actually going to save the carrot tops because Simone wants to make a little vegetable broth here in a second. I'm going to pull these to the side so she can do that with y'all. It's chicken bone broth. I don't... Y'all see what she do it. I don't know what she do it. <laughs> One of the great things about this juicer I didn't get to showcase was like when it's going through its press cycle, I think it's like a minute and a half, two minutes, like while it's pressing the juice, it gives you like plenty of time to like clean up your station as it's pressing the juice, which is really, really nice. But I didn't do it, so y'all didn't get to see. <laughs> and it's super easy to take it down and clean. Y'all got a slow masticating juicer or... We have a pure juicer too that we use to make our uh, juices for the business. Cleaning them things suck. It's terrible. That's Daniel, like the worst part. It's like the most time consuming. This here, you just pop it off, break down like this, and then you throw it in the washer basically. You rinse it and throw it in the washer. It's nice. Quick little wipe down and we're good to go. I almost spilled it. Here you go, woman. Uh, Here you go, woman. Man. <laughs> Meats, carrots, lemon. You ain't smell no living. <laughs> well, I know there's living. in the morning, throw everything I got in the freezer that I've been saving in there, and we just reset. I hate being sick. We gonna sip on our juice, do this puzzle. We used to watch a lot of movies, but we really don't be watching nothing now. I mean, I watch YouTube. Aside from that, I don't know what we be doing. We be having fun, but I don't know what we be doing, for real. But this puzzle sounds like a good time. <laughs> So we're going to do this puzzle. We'll catch y'all in the morning. I'm feeling decent. So it's up to me to make the bone broth today. Ugh. I have no idea what I'm doing, so... See how this goes. Would you like to write down the instructions for me? No, we used to tell you. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I ain't gonna remember. She talking about some no. All you have to do is take the the chicken bones out the freezer. It's in a bag. Cover it with, put it in a pot. Cover it with water. Put it on low. That's it. There's some other stuff in the bag, like onion peels and whatever other scraps we done had. So she's gonna come help me out. Another. My mom does this. Tastes good. So we got all kinds of stuff here. Onion peels. Uh, some celery. So that's one. I guess we might as well make like two. We can save our broth. Freeze it. So we'll put one here. This one doesn't have any carrots or 
Tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Mm, I think that was a tablespoon. Yeah. But this one is ready to simmer for the next six hours. Six hours? Nobody got no six hours to wait for this. I don't really have much of a choice though. So I guess we'll see you in six hours. So we're quite a few hours in. This is where we've been all day. <laughs> I think I'm on my. I think I took like five naps. I just can't stay awake. Yeah. So I think I gotta get up and pour some water in the pot. Yeah, I gotta pour some water in the pot to make sure the chicken bones cover. But we should be close to the end. It's been on for five hours now. Ugh. Woo! Well, I guess I'll throw some water on it real quick. If it needs it. Get as much of it covered up as possible. There's been a slight burst of energy. I think I'm going to work on this puzzle again. And by we, mostly Simone. She said I ain't about to do nothing. Which she probably right. I can't do puzzles. My brain ain't built for these. But we're going to try. We, well, by we, I mean she got all of this done last night. She got all the outsides. We're not working on that long. Got pretty far. We're working, we're working on the sky. That's our goal, is to get the sky. I don't know, I'm really having a hard time on where to even start, but it's piece by piece, literally. So, so we gonna work on this. And next time we check in, the bone broth should be done. Should be. You see, we feeling a little better since we have doing this puzzle. We were stuck on that couch. Not 100%, but we getting there. Finally time for the bone broth. We gonna knock the rest of this juice out first though. Perfect. Didn't make me feel better as fast this time and I wonder if it's cause none of the stuff came from, what? Came from our garden. That's what I think anyway, and I'm going to stick to that. Stuff you buy in the store ain't as good. Still did the trick, though. Please. Drink it. Get back. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Got problems. <laughs> okay. Finally, cleaning up a little bit of something. I ain't done. We ain't done a thing in the last. <laughs> yeah, this house kind of mess. <laughs> we ain't cleaned up jack. We got teacups all over the place. Juice cups all over the place. It's teacup. Juice, juice, juice. Tea, tea, medicine. Yeah. Being sick ain't no joke. Let's get into this bone broth, man. Turn these off. That was good. This is the best 
so we can link this below but this is the best salt yeah. ever redmond's real salt later these call real keep salt. going that's good taste this Oh. I'm just gonna drink it. <laughs> Come get your porridge. Why are you calling it porridge? <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm doing. Well, we got our broth. Finally. Yeah. So I'll finish up. Tastes pretty good. Our sickness is pretty much out of here. We just gonna take this broth, sip on it, do the rest of this puzzle. See if we can get these last little tiny coughs and little remnants of the bug up out of us. But we are doing a lot better. Yes. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. So, thank you for hanging out with us while we were sickly. Yeah. Sorry it was unadventurous. Yeah. But we learned how to make bone broth. Was that the first time we made bone broth? Yeah, that was the first time. My mom makes it a lot, mm. so she told me how to do it. Well, y'all learned a new skill with us, so. Yeah. Thanks. Until next time, we'll catch y'all in. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>